Hello everybody. My name is Linus Doga from Strategic Poverty Alleviation Systems. I'm making a presentation for this conference titled Applying Old Wisdom and New to Move Healthcare Systems for HIV and Cancer from Management Treatment to Curative Therapies for Positive Health. First of all, I want to declare there is no conflict of interest. And uh, the background to my presentation is that uh, both cancer and HIV have a curious relationship. Uh, and because for uh, cancer cells, they have long genetic material, that is both of them, that lead cells to grow uncontrollably that is for, his, uh, for cancer, or to delay the immune system in case of HIV, which makes both of them hard to cure. So the project, the purpose of this project is that uh, strategic poverty alleviation systems, not for profit community-based organization. In 2003, aimed at using locally available resources to provide a cure for HIV and cancer, which are both, uh, both of them long considered as curses or death sentences in rural Africa. And so what is green amaranth? Uh, it's an unglass cereal or pseudo cereal of, of the amaranthas and the cerosia families called amaranthaceae. Then uh, you have a photo there of the amaranth at the uh, seed yielding stage. Uh, and uh, this project, uh, you can see the farmers there, Linus Dogger with the farmers. Then there is a uh, harvested amaranth. Farmers are demanding harvested amaranth. Then we have uh, a cancer patient being given a uh, uh, green amaranth based nutraceuticals in his or her home setting. Then we have a trainer from SPAS uh, training uh, communities in uh, the slums how to, to make different types of uh, amaranth products. Um, so what we have done literally is to reinvent traditional foods and medicinal resources such as green amaranth, plant genetic resources, and traditional healthcare systems at the knowledge institutions as to engineer a paradigm shift to move healthcare systems for HIV and cancer from management treatment to curative therapies. So small scale farmers who are trained grow green amaranth for food, stroke nutrition, and the surplus wood to sparse for making green amaranth based nutraceuticals, which are given to community members with uh, chronic diseases such as HIV and cancer. And uh, the outcomes after doing all that is that uh, we give those nutraceuticals to community members of all ages and gender, eh? with HIV nowadays, which is considered a chronic disease, and or cancer, both AIDS and non-AIDS defining cancers, which are given the, these nutraceuticals. And within seven days of taking these nutraceuticals, HIV infected are of all medications, that is including those who are taking uh, ARVs, and within 14 days, the virus is completely eradicated from their systems or bodies, including in HIV reservoirs. As for cancer, uh, the cancer is eliminated from their bodies, and all tests cannot find uh, uh, any cancer cells in the body. There we have... Uh, an example of Mrs. Kamal, 
who was HIV AIDS, the first, one of the first beneficiaries of this program. And uh, she tested negative in 2007. And she's, since then, she has not been on any medication, either for HIV or its complications. Then we have uh, Nafas Kega, a primary school teacher who was brought to SPARS when she had uh, uh, gone through all the uh, cancer treatment options, which were not less podding. And uh, now she's there speaking of her experience after getting cured of cancer. Yes. We said that uh, the cure for cancer is also the cure for HIV, uh, um, uh, viral diseases, where in conventional medicine we don't have cures for viral diseases. This is just an example. This is the little karaoke. Uh, with uh, early stage she goes. She took the he took the nutraceuticals and he got cured within seven days. Uh, now the lessons learned from this uh, implementing this project, this nutraceuticals uh, given to communities not responding to conventional treatment options mainly. Uh, then all signs and symptoms, the cure for cancer is also the cure for, and there is a repetition here, uh, the challenges. Although for centuries, cultures around the world have uh, relied on traditional herbal medicine to control diseases. Nowadays, herbal medicine is not prescribed in major health outlets and health systems for chronic diseases. The only half heartedry really is it taught in medical schools. So people still believe that the viruses can only be addressed through vaccines, not cured. <laughs> but the response to HIV, according to UNH, has shown that the impossible is now possible. And this is clearly demonstrated by this presentation that I'm making now. But, however, to accelerate progress towards curative therapies for and halt premature deaths from these diseases and achieve more than the 2030 agenda for sustainable development by the UN, for example, to aid AIDS as a public health threat by 2030, substantial a positive attitude change towards traditional healthcare systems and indigenous knowledge institutions need to be prioritized by the global community. Uh, then there are references there. You can read for yourselves uh, later. Thank you.